The Ericsson S-64 air crane helicopter, the most versatile helicopter in the world, is now the platform for the most advanced aerial firefighting system available today. 9,000 liters of water, foam mix, or retardant can be delivered in eight coverage levels with computed precision from a tank mechanism that allows for the highest volume per hour delivery offered by any aerial firefighting system. United States Forest Service data confirms that the Helitanker firefighting system delivers the lowest cost per liter and is the most effective method of fire management and suppression from the air. A powerful stream of water or foam mix at a rate of up to 1,100 liters per minute is available through a nozzle attachment that revolutionizes urban interface and high-rise structure firefighting. And a comprehensive worldwide network that supports rigid on-site maintenance schedules through computerized aircraft parts tracking and delivery, all of which keeps the air crane performing with a high level of reliability that top main clients have counted on for over 26 years. The Ericsson S-64 air crane helicopter is the most versatile helicopter in the world. Certified as a standard transport category aircraft by the FAA, the air crane has been performing a variety of external load operations for over 26 years. Supported by the innovative design and engineering staff at the Central Point headquarters, the S-64 has risen to each operational challenge with new technology and features that augment the multi-mission capability offered by the world's most adaptable aircraft. One of the latest innovations is the Helitanker. The 9,000-liter tank was developed in 1992 from a bold new idea combining the tank capacity of conventional fixed-wing firefighting aircraft with the maneuverability and accuracy possible through the wide airspeed range of a helicopter. A selectable flow system delivers precise amounts of water, foam mix, or retardant in coverage levels that can be used for a wide variety of fuel models. Eight different coverage levels are available when using the helitanker. Coverage levels one through eight correspond to liters per 10 square meters. The system is initiated when the pilot on board selects one of the eight coverage levels. The computer then adjusts for airspeed and controls the rotary gear actuators that open and close the tank doors to maintain a consistent drop pattern to match the coverage level selected by the pilot. The tank has a capacity of 9,000 liters and attaches to the air crane through eight hard points located on the fuselage. It is interagency air tanker board approved and built to the same standards as a passenger carrying jetliner. A series of tests performed by the United States Forest Service National Wildfire Technology Program has provided valuable information about the drop patterns of the helitanker. The data is used in helicopter delivery simulation models that are available to assist air attack coordinators and fire managers in the most effective use of the tank system in different fuel models. Like fixed-wing tankers, the effectiveness of the tank system is predicated by forward airspeed. The helitanker drops its payload at speeds of 40 to 80 knots at the appropriate altitude to take full advantage of the system coverage levels without producing significant rotor wash on the target. Apart from being one of the best firefighting tools to combat the hot spots and flanks of the fire, the helitanker can also make a low approach under the advancing smoke and directly attack the leading edge of the fire. A recent campaign in Australia provided an excellent example of this new attack method with a fast-burning crown fire breaking out in the middle of a suburban area north of Melbourne. The helitanker made use of a local golf course pond for a water source and successfully checked the advancing edge of the blaze. 
This has since influenced new air attack strategies using Type 1 helicopters in the state of Victoria, Australia. Refilling in almost any water source as shallow as 45 centimeters is possible with the 5 meter long snorkel attachment. The 25 centimeter diameter hose uses aircraft hydraulic power to operate a motorized impeller located at the bottom of the snorkel. The hydraulic pump is self-priming and capable of filling the 9,000 liter tank in approximately 40 seconds. If there are no nearby water sources, or if long-term retardant is required, the helitanker can refill using 20,000 litre tanks that can be trucked or flown very close to the fire site. Long-term retardant can either be pre-mixed in the ground tanks and drafted with the snorkel, or loaded on the ground through twin cam lock fittings. If the use of foam mix is required, the tank attachment carries a 290-litre container, capable of injecting Class A foam to the required concentration. Since the foam is injected into the tank itself, there is no danger of contamination to water sources in contact with the snorkel. After refill, the helitanker can cruise up to 90 knots fully loaded. With a 45-second refill, quick turnaround and travel time, the helitanker can deliver up to 113,000 litres of water, foam mix or retardant per hour. Data taken by the United States Forest Service and compiled by the Camp Pendleton Fire Department during the 1995 fire season was used to evaluate the top 10 air attack systems in terms of the average cost per litre and the number of litres per hour each system had delivered. In both comparisons, the Halitanker surpassed the other systems, not only proving a greater efficiency, but also a more cost-effective means of fire management and suppression. Responding to the need for a more effective system of urban interface and inner-city firefighting, Ericsson Aircrane has developed a high-pressure horizontal hose delivery system certified by the FAA to operate with the helitanker. The water cannon can deliver a stream of water up to 55 meters at a rate of up to 1,100 liters per minute. The water cannon was created to fight high-rise structure fires in congested inner-city areas at altitudes too high for effective use of ground-based hose delivery systems. With the cannon, the helitanker can hover outside a burning structure, break windows to facilitate evacuation, and direct a constant stream of water into the blaze for up to eight minutes. The cannon can also be used to spray water, foam mix, or retardant onto potential fire spots to prevent ignition. To ensure the high level of reliability that top name clients expect, Ericsson Aircrane maintains a worldwide support network through field maintenance crews operating in close communication with complete overhaul and repair facilities located in Central Point, Oregon. A&P certified field mechanics perform rigid daily inspections and flight hours for each part of the aircraft are carefully recorded. This helps to ensure timely delivery and installation of any mechanism on the air crane before scheduled replacement. Since 1992, when Ericsson Air Crane obtained the type certificate and became a licensed manufacturer of the S-64 Skycrane helicopter, the Central Point Hub of Operations has maintained complete facilities for the overhaul and repair of all S-64 parts and components. This comprehensive system of computerized aircraft parts tracking and worldwide support keeps the Ericsson S-64 air crane helicopter one of the most reliable aerial delivery systems available today.
The most versatile helicopter in the world is now the platform for the most advanced aerial firefighting system available today. With 9,000 liters of water, foam mix or retardant delivered at a fully selectable flow rate. Fast refill and turnaround, giving more time for fire suppression and offering the most effective and lowest cost per liter of any aerial delivery system. Innovations which augment the multi-mission capability and provide new options in urban interface and inner city firefighting and a dedicated system of on-site inspection and repair, backed by computerized parts tracking and worldwide maintenance support.